G'day guys, got a unusual lock to have a look at today. It's one I picked up in the dollar store while I was in there having a look around this new shopping complex that's opened up. So in there having a look around, so I thought I might as well pop in and have a look. And normally the last thing I ever buy from a dollar shop is padlocks because they're just terrible. Cheap Chinese locks that are just useful as paperweights, that's about it. But one caught my eye today. It's unusual, never seen one before. So I thought, why not get it and do a video on it. So this is the lock here. So it's got padlock, enhancing security of your properties. So as you can tell, Asia made. <laughs> Um, got world class, f five stars. Um, it's got the technology of Taiwan, the trust of the whole world. It's patent number, but on the back, in big writing has got made in China. So as you can see they've got anti theft, high grade, secure anti theft. It says uh, fully theft. Proof, safety, locks, doors, preventing fr them from being pried open in case. Unlock with a universal key. It's 80% harder to destroy this unit than traditional ones. Which, I don't really want to go destroying this. Because I did pay $18 for a little lock. But, rust proof and then key. Unique high position structure avoids duplication. Patent transponder made in Taiwan, backed by exclusive advanced technologies. Any infringements will be prosecuted. So it's got a 100% guaranteed best choice, but enough about what it says. Let's have a look at the actual lock itself. So first thing that caught my eye was actually the picture. I thought on the lock's pretty cool. So, get the packaging out of the way. So, first have a look at the lock. So, as you can see, it's got a nice logo on there. Top security lock. It's got their little logo there. Must be a good lock because it says so on the top. <laughs> it's got their logo there as well. On the back, world class top security lock again. So, pretty unusual kind of lock. Um, not so much because of this, but the keys and the keyway is what got my attention. So, you can see by the keyway there, it's almost like a disc detainer, but not quite. And I'll go through this after. So, it's the keyway, so have a look at the keys. So, you can see this is what intrigued me a bit was having a round key that has big wings up the top here and then if my camera will focus come on you can see it gradually gets smaller it goes down these little step downs and then the tip is kind of like the pick for a disc retainer lock you've got the wings that come out notches cut in so that is from what I've worked out is where the key tensions the lock or turns and these little notches or steps and these big wings here actually push the rings so in here are the steel rings if you can make it out there's steel plates there there's some more down the back there with springs in there so I can see the spring runs down the inside so it's spring loaded so these notches push down on the discs to a certain depth before you can actually turn it so I'll show you key goes in that way and as you can see they're spring loaded so you get a bit of resistance that pushes the key back probably try and shoot it out like that so pretty powerful springs in there so goes into there then turn 
So once it gets to that position, you can't get the key out. It is key retaining. And then pull on the shackle for it to open. So it runs ball bearings, as you can see. It's not a spring-loaded shackle. There's nothing down here, so you can't go taking the core out to have a look. So lock back up, key comes out. So pretty unusual lock because of the key. I haven't worked out a way to tension and pick this yet. I will work on that, hopefully not break the new lock because I don't really want to go spending $18 for another one, but I only want one for the collection. So if you have any comments about this, or if you've seen locks like this, and you've got ideas on how to pick them, just let me know in the comments, and we can hopefully soon get a video up on here of how to pick these types of locks without destroying them. Because one guy I was talking to said about you can pry off this plug here, the face plate, and then dump all the guts out and then be able to unlock it. But I had a look and to pry that off you're gonna to have to break the pin that's in here that goes through and into the top of the plug. So don't really want to go doing that but picking is so much more fun. But anyway, that's the world-class padlock. So if you have any challenge locks you just want to send in, um, <clears throat> or any locks that you want to donate um, to do videos on, or wouldn't mind seeing picked or anything like that, just send us an email at darkartslockpicking at gmail.com and find, we will let you know how to send stuff in. But until next time, happy picking and cheers guys.